This 1989 Mercedes 190E 2.6 is absolutely stunning. It comes in this beautiful metallic grey colour with grey interior and it's done just 209,000 kilometres since it was new. It's got two keys to it, it's got a very good service history, it was sold new in uh, into the Double Bay area and has come most recently from Bowral. It's been very well looked after, everything works from the power windows to the sunroof to the radio. Even the gauges are nice and clear, often these just go completely yellow. Radio is working well. And the 190E 2.6, I think one day, should be a collector's item. They handle well. They're built in an era when Mercedes-Benz was really being run by the engineers instead of the accountants into in the 90s. And whether it's a 190E or a 300E or a you know, W126 420SE, they really were just built in a certain way in the late 80s. You can tell right from when you close the door. They're so solid. And if you look online, I'm sure you'll see 190Es with 700,000 kilometres. Because they're built to last. This car has been garaged for a lot of its life. That's why things like the tail lights are in such good condition. Often the reverse light starts to go a bit yellow. It's even got the warning triangle. It's got all the original books and manuals from new. It's got a full size spare. From what we can see, it's a rust free car. Often you can tell, you know, sometimes they do rust below the bottom of the back window. But this looks nice and clean and clear, free from any rust. It does have tinted windows, which I think has aided in keeping the interior in such good condition. The alloy wheels are also immaculate. It's just a beautiful car. Whether you want to buy something for the collection, you might be in the Mercedes-Benz club, you may even just want to buy something for under $10,000 that you can drive every day with a bit of style, safety and economy. I have driven this car, drives absolutely perfectly. And look, every now and then 190E 2.6s do come up. There's not a lot of them. But the ones we've seen, they've either got no logbook, they're an import, the clock stopped working. There's a number of different things that can go wrong. So we've got the original books. I'll just jump out of the car. The 2.6 also came with power windows in the front and the back. It's got the original Becker cassette, isn't that nice? It's got a key holder original book. So it was sold new into the Double Bay area. The last service in the book was at looks all Miss Anderson's all the way through up to about 150. Then it's gone to a specialist in Barrel. But it's a beautiful car and I don't think it's going to last long in this condition. And we have been waiting for quite a while for a 190E of any description, even if it was a 190E with the standard engine. But when this 2.6 came available, we bought it straight away. I guess, in a sense, the 190E 2.6 was, was really the equivalent of a AMG at the time. There was obviously the 2.3, Cosworth which was a proper AMG but they were very rare and I believe most of them if not all of them were imported they were very expensive new and the amount of people who I've spoken to over the years looking at other Mercedes 
who talk about one of the best cars they had which was a 190e 2.6 and in fact we've already had a couple of calls about the car from people who have owned them in the past and have been looking for a while for an example like this one It really is in every way a, a very impressive car. I've already sent it to our Mercedes-Benz specialist and asked them to go over the car, check it, see if it requires anything. It needed some minor adjust, adjustments. And I think it might have needed a, a, you know, a relay or something like that. But their comments were it was a particularly good car. If you have any additional questions about the car, please give us a call. We're on 029569 We're only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport if you're interstate. And we're 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney CBD. You probably heard the plane flying overhead. So it's done 209,000 kilometres. The last service in Barrel was about 205,000. And that was before we had our special, local specialist look at the car as well. But it's very imp impressive. It's definitely, in my opinion, the best colour combination at the time. And I think would suit a fussy buyer. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.